Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of graphing on the coordinate plane. This is standard 6.11a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a right triangle, we have an isosceles triangle, they're graphed on the coordinate grid, and then there's a shaded section, represents all the points located inside both triangles. So you see there's a little bit of an overlap and it's kind of hard to see, but our shaded section is right there. So we're gonna to try to find a point that's kind of right inside that section. It's not a very large section. Um, and so we need to find a point inside there. So, right, we've got quadrant one, which is uh, both positives, right? We've got quadrant two, which is what we're looking for. That's a positive y, but a negative x. Quadrant three, both negatives. Quadrant four, we have a positive x, but a negative y. So we're looking for quadrant two. Um, and so, you know, even... Even just looking at that, right, we've got uh, an x and a y, both positive. We have a negative x and a y. We have a negative x, negative y. And then we've got an uh, x, negative y. Right, we can even use that. We're looking for this right here. We're looking for this negative x, y. So it could be this one. And it could be this one, right? I mean, we'll go ahead and graph all of them just to make sure, but that's the only one that's in quadrant two that's got the negative x, positive y. So let's start with, with A and D here. So we've got an x of negative 1.5. So there's my negative one. So my negative 1 1.5 is going to be right around there. And then 4.5 is right around there. So it's not even inside any of the triangles, all right? So I'm just going to kind of draw a little arrow. That's my A right there. I've got negative 1.5 and then a positive 4.5. So let's check D. So negative 4.5 is right there. Then a positive 1.5 is right there. So you mash them together, and there you go. Yep, that looks like that's going to be right what we need it to be. That's my D. All right, so let's just verify to make sure that I was right, and we eliminated B and C correctly, right? So B is a positive 1.5 and a negative 4.5. And that's going to be down here. So, all right down there. That's totally in the wrong quadrant here. So that's B. But you notice that everything is just 1.5 and 4.5, right? So that's that's kind of the, the tricky part about this problem, if there is one. 4.5C and negative 1.5. Well, I mean, we're going the wrong direction here, because look, here's my 4.5. I am, and then I'm going down here, negative 1.5. So this is C right here. Uh, so this, if you take a look, look at the operations. That's a positive and that's a negative. That's a negative, that's a positive. So that's just the the inverse of the correct one that we wanted. C. Uh, so it had a positive when we wanted a negative, it had a negative when we wanted a positive. So our answer is going to be D. We always need to remember, right, that we do our X first, our Y second, because they come alphabetically that way. And we eliminated some of our answer choices. We eliminated both B and C, because we were looking for quadrant two, which is negative X and positive Y. The only two options there were A, but our answer here is D.